This morning in campaign 2014, there are still several races that are still too close to call. Professor Michael Shires from Pepperdine University is back with us. We want to welcome you back. So turnout was extremely low. Well, it was so bad. To give you an example, my wife and I went and voted at 840 in the morning. Uh -huh. We were the first and only voters at our precinct. Really? Yeah, it just, you know, what happens if you hold an election and nobody comes? It really mm -hmm. felt like that. Mm -hmm. Now, part of that was there was really low turnout. We're mm -hmm. expecting somewhere between one and four and one and five voters. Mm -hmm. Registered voters actually participated. Mm -hmm. The other thing is mail-in ballots. Mail-in ballots have become huge. There's one county in Northern California that was expecting as many as 80% of their votes mm -hmm. to be cast by mail. Mm -hmm. So nobody shows up at the polling place. Mm -hmm. But why, why was this election so low? Why was it expected well, to be so low? One of the things you had was there just wasn't a sexy race on the ballot. Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody knows Jerry Brown's going to probably be the nominee mm -hmm. going forward. He mm -hmm. has $21 million in the bank. Mm -hmm. So the race for second place in the top two system was really to see who's going to take on a $21 million bank account and a governor that's actually fairly popular. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it was a Tea Party kind of mainstream Republican. You had Neil Kashkari, who's kind of the mainstream candidate, and Tim Donnelly, who was the Tea Party candidate. And there was some concern nationally mm -hmm. that you'd have a Tea Party candidate running against Jerry Brown, who's just so rich with material for the Tea Party, mm -hmm. that it could actually hurt Republican chances nationwide. So you saw a lot of effort nationally for people to come and support uh, Neil Kashkari in the Republican ticket. Mm -hmm. And it really did mirror, you know, the, the California race mirrored national rights. Yeah, the outcome was very much what we saw across the United States, especially in the South, where you had the kind of mainstream establishment candidates beating the Tea Party candidates. Now, a couple of years ago, you might have seen the opposite result just because it was the Tea Party. Mm -hmm. But California has always been a little separate from that trend as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and there were a lot of contested races as well. There were. The interesting thing about the nonpartisan primary is it really, it, it does a, several things. One of the things it does is it brings a lot of people to the ballot. Mm -hmm. And we had some races in California. Mm -hmm. Where we had, you know, nine or eighteen. If you look at, um, if you look at even the statewide races, mm -hmm. uh, you look at the controllers race where we had what five candidates on the ballot. That race is still too close to call. They split the vote fairly evenly across them. And remember, the top person, the top two people go. Right now, there is a three-way tie almost mm -hmm. for that last place, and about one in four ballots still haven't been counted yet because they were. One of the problems with the voting by mail is it takes a lot longer to count the election, mm -hmm. and so we really don't know the outcome of that race for some time until the almost a million more ballots are counted.